to say this, but um, a week ago, um, I was actually um, in a similar situation to this. The difference is that it was in Borneo, and we were actually having lunch with the orangutans, so nothing <laughs> reminds me less of this. <laughs> and, but uh, Shane and Andrea, uh, without you this would not have happened, and, and thank you so much for, for taking the lead. Uh, B1G1 is a little bit about that, is about sort of standing up and, oh by the way, and thank you all too for being here. I, I, um, not sure how far you had to come, but I bet it wasn't all the way from Singapore. But, <laughs> but it's worth every cent uh, of, uh, of being here, just to connect, to shake hands, see the eyes, see the smiles. It's just lovely. Um, what, I, what I wanted to say was, uh, well, I had no idea what I wanted to say, actually, because I didn't know I was going to say anything. Um, <laughs> but um, to, to be with you and to celebrate an incredible year and of course an incredible festival coming up and looking forward to another year is just extraordinary in the B1G1 sense and part of the reason for that is that the person sitting next to me uh, four years ago just said wouldn't it be great if every time a transaction happened anywhere in the world wouldn't it be great if a little piece of that transaction went back uh, to do good in some way and just from that seed of an idea uh, it's kind of interesting what happens. Uh, over the weekend, I'm not sure whether you saw it, but there have been since that idea, this lady next to me had that idea, a staggering seven and a half million uh, giving activities have happened just from the seed of that idea. And talking about seeds, in Borneo, I know I told a couple of you this story, but in Borneo last week when we were taking our birthdays, actually it was Masami's and mine, mm. were two days apart, and there we were with the orangutans and, and what you get is when you see the orangutans it's amazing you get that they obviously are related to David over there uh, he's got his orange shirt on just to prove it uh, but, but what, you, what, you, what you get is that the impact that we as businesses can make um, and, and then how that's transferred just through people on the ground for example uh, when we were in Borneo and we saw some of the destruction that goes on uh, with the palm oil plantations. We remember this one guy, his name is Layden. Layden's 60 years old, I think, and, and every day Layden goes into the forest and he just collects seeds. And then they take those seeds and then they grow them and then they replant them. Uh, doesn't seem very much to go into the forest every day and do that, except over the last three and a half years, 200,000 trees have just been planted from that one guy going out there <laughs> and so for each of us here to be able to support individuals doing that kind of thing is just an extraordinary uh, privilege just like it is to be here and to be sitting next to I bet you don't know anybody who this morning just to prove it I'll show you if anybody knows how to use an HTC phone could they please tell me <laughs> <laughs> but, but oh anyway it's here I, what do I do? Do I drag oh, down? Don't down? Don't no, don't. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, does that look like... Uh, yeah, ask yeah, her. Ask her. Yeah. <laughs> so we got off the plane uh, this morning uh, and, uh, and uh, checked email, of course. And here's an email from a lady called Aidy, or Aida, actually, at uh, Voice of America. And uh, this is uh, right now live on Voice of America this morning. This is, and it features Tom's shoes. It features a lot of B1G1 on one clients. And right in the middle here, it features this lady as well. So now you know someone who's on Voice of America <laughs> this morning. So ladies and gentlemen, would you please say hi to the lady who four years ago had that inspiration and continues to be so inspiring, Masami Sato.
started to do giving yourself as well. And so for me, um, it was exactly the same um, because like up until four years ago, four and a half years ago, I was running a food company. And the reason why I was running a food company was because I was passionate about food. And I believe that everybody deserves to have you know, healthy, nurturing, um, nourishing food at home with family, even if they are working really hard. So we started to create packaged frozen meals, you know, using organic natural ingredients and so on. We started to sell in Australia. Um, eventually, um, though we started in Queensland, we came to Melbourne as well. So we had some shops selling our um, packaged food back then. And um, when we started the business, I thought, if we are to run a business, um, it's good to kind of focus on success, to you know either become like a well-known, you know, established business, making lots of profit. But I thought, if we are to dedicate such a large part of our life to something, then we want to be doing something more than just getting something for our own sake. And that was the time I um, first, you know, I, I became mom, mother um, for two kids as well. So I was kind of juggling everything with two young kids, um, trying to make a business work, um, you know, slowly expanding, had a lot of challenges. And then one day I thought, even if we have a big dream to make a difference, but if you're faced with everyday reality of what you have to do in business, it's very difficult to suddenly do something huge. And so then um, I thought, what about you know something small? If it was something you, we can do today, um, and also through each of the transactions, then we can make a difference from today. So um, when that idea came to me, um, somebody, you know, who um, heard about the idea, said, oh, that's a big, um, buy one, give one. You know, it's not the buy one, get one, but it's buy one, give one. So that's how the, you know, initial concept of B1G1 um, came to life. And now, four years later, sorry, I need water. <laughs> water, water, water. water. Uh, 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 how would wine go? <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> By the way, Masami had a temperature of 39.4 39. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, so, so I just recovered oh, from Mars. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, um, that's why, like, you know, without all of you in this room, buy one give one wouldn't be here. And uh, once we started, we realized there are so many ways of, you know, um, making a difference. And everybody in business um, started their business with a sense of purpose. You know, because you are passionate about education, you know, you went into education business. Or if you are, because you are passionate about, um, you know, well-being of people, you went into medical practice. Or um, everybody have, you know, has different purpose and passion um, with what you are doing. So when you come to b one g one you see the project, you know, which we have. Um, now we have a, you know, nearly 700 projects. But the, out of those projects, people actually pick, you know, a quite unique projects. And then sometimes we are really surprised by, you know, your choice as well. And we write about it. And um, so all of these things, like, um, came together in the last four years and now formed the B1J1 initiative, which is, you know, a bit bigger than when we started. <laughs> so um, I'd like to thank you for being here today. And then um, after you know, having a nice meal, if you um, want to share um, something about what you are doing and how you are giving back and how you feel about <coughs> your giving and so on, then please do um, stand up and talk or come to us and share your experience with us. And thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you.